to you, Louie. Cram it up your bagpipe. <laughs> well, it so happens I've got a little something here that'll make you feel a tad happier. Forget it. Your wife's peach slop gives me the trots. <laughs> Anybody for a game of strip poker? <laughs> a pair of better to open, Lydia. <laughs> mm. uh, uh, Louis? Yeah. Uh, could I have a word with you? Yeah, sure. You yeah. see, uh, I've got to take my sister to the doctor. It's nothing serious, mind you. Oh, you don't know how relieved I am. Oh. <laughs> well, you see, uh, you're the only man who knows this job as well as I do, so. If you could take charge of the office for a couple of hours, I'd be everlastingly grateful to you for the wee favor. <laughs> Are you kidding? You want me to give up two hours of tips and fares to sit in a cage while you're off gold bricking at a doctor's office? <laughs> I'm sorry it has to come to this, but uh, if you force me to order you, Louie, I will. Go on, go on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Yeah. All right, but don't think you're gonna make a habit of this. All right. How about letting them know who's in charge here? Uh, attention, everybody. Hey, what, what, I... What's the matter with this? It doesn't work? Now, why would a person want to blast their voice over a loudspeaker when they could talk to them very... Now hear this! <laughs> against his will is going to be squandering his precious talent sitting in a cage doing a job a chimpanzee could do. <laughs> I'll be back shortly. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I'll be making it up to you. I promise you. In fact, you know, I'll tell you what. I'll get me Mrs. to bake a brown Betty for the company picnic. How's that? Yeah, who's going to bring a bromo? <laughs> All right, all right. Let's get some butts on the road here. Um, Rodriguez, cab 222. Louis, Tom said I could have cab 512, but I got a cold, and uh, it's got the best heat. Did he say he'd wipe your nose for you, too? Beat it. This job stinks enough without being a babysitter. Louis. What? Five bucks for a cab with a heater? <laughs> 